Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. I'm your chief, Juronka, and I have gotten a lot of positive feedback um, for my Tuli miniseries, and I thought I might do a longer campaign or a full series using the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. And um, so here we are, I'm gonna hop in single player. I will do the custom game setup because I want to choose, well, I'm, I've been thinking about what to choose actually. First of all, let's go to the last bookmark dates, A Feast for Crows, um, start it up. And now I've been thinking about which region and which house to play as. And there's a couple houses to come to mind, um, but um, I for myself, I'm a Stark Loyalist. And this is what I want to portray in this series. And um, I could go ahead and play as the Blackwoods, who I believe are the last Loyalist or Stark Loyalist stronghold in the Riverlands. Um, but I've done um, the Tullys as my first campaign, so I've kind of already covered the Riverlands. At least, you know, not covered it, but started there. So I don't want to do the Riverlands again, but um, something close. So I should probably pick something in the north, but. That is quite convoluted at the moment with Roose Bolton holding or being Lord Paramount of the North in ruling from the Dreadfort. So I don't really know what is going on in most of the parts. But one thing I know for sure is that Howland Reed is most definitely a Stark Loyalist. So um, I, will, I will pick him. And one other good or one benefit from playing as Howland Reed in the neck is that it's very close, or the, the capital of Greywater Watch, is very close to the Twins, and the Twins being my favorite holding in Westeros, I obviously want to get them, and uh, with the feud between, or the so-called feud, I, mean, I think you can call it feud, between the uh, uh, Krennic Man and the Freys, uh, I think it gives me a legitimate claim on the Twins. And um, yeah, so uh, let's hop in as Howland Reed. Shall hit the play button and uh, the neck is a very unique region so to speak I mean every region is unique um, but the neck is very unique um, because of its swamps now the children when they uh, were trying to fight off the invasion of the first men they were well doing a lot of using a lot of magic and the same magic they used down here in the broken arm over here to, to break off that arm, the same magic they used there, they used over here in the neck, because they wanted to break this up as well. However, the spell or the sorcery failed, and uh, instead of breaking up the north, they just created a huge swamp. However, um, that showed the power of the children, and eventually led to the peace treaty signed with the first men. Now, I think before going on talking, I should probably uh, take care of this first. Obviously, Stannis is, um, again, telling us about the abominations of incest between Cersei Lannister and Sir Jaime the Kingslayer, and of course, I should have known. Um, now, House Reed are masters of Greywater Watch, and uh, that's right here, sworn to House Bolton. Now, I'm not too sure about that. I'm, sh I'm sworn to House Stark. Uh, so far, I haven't decided on which side I pick, which is why I'm not at war. Uh, if, you, if you look at the uh, Boltons, uh, they're currently at war with Stannis, Lord Paramount Stannis of the Stormlands, and I'm not at war, because I have not yet decided which uh, or who I will side with. Now, anyway, we are apparently sworn to House Bolton, tasked with the defense of the Neck from Southern Lords, full of secret places and deadly traps, our marshlands will swallow our enemies whole. For the lizard lion. Oh, so apparently, three courtiers named Rob, Carlin, and Vayon appear at our court. Okay. Now, the lizard lion is unique to this region because uh, because of the swamp, the swamps. There's a lot of weird creatures that only exist in this region, and one of them are reptiles that are as big as lions, and therefore they're called lizard lions. Um, also, the 
Well, the religion is obviously old gods, uh, as most of the people in the North believe. And um, we also... Actually... No, we have a unique culture. That's what I was I was talking I was wanted to talk about. So the Granok man is a well, it's a culture that is different from the Northmen. They're also derived uh, from the first men, but they're different and they're very short. At least I think that's Granok uh, man. Maybe yeah, the culture of characters. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't show right here, but uh, uh, the Granok man are uh, somewhat shorter and somewhat <laughs> said to be always lurking around uh, whatever that means and uh, yeah so we are called by our enemies in the twins the phrase they call us frog eaters and uh, so they lock down upon us and so do the inhabitants of the Iron Isles so those are just some natural enemies we have we don't like the crossing and we don't like the Iron Isles, we don't like the Ironborn, and uh, all that. So, um, this series, actually, I should have noted earlier, when it was showing up over here when I started up the game, it said, warning, this scenario will contain spoilers. Now, most of my information um, is from the wiki, because I haven't read the books, or at least not many books, only read the first one, and I also have not showed... Uh, I've not watched most of the show, so I pretty much just collect information um, asking people who know about uh, the Game of Thrones realm and uh, just reading the wiki. So if you, if you don't want to spoil yourselves, um, you should probably not watch this video, um, but w whatever, it's your decision. Anyway, so we're the rulers of the marshlands of the Neck and also of the Krennic, Krennic Man. We have not joined Rob Stark's army because we were left to defend the north from invasion. And um, I think goals for this campaign are... Well, I got I got two goals for this campaign. One, I want to get Moat Kaelin uh, simply because uh, I want to have connected land. So I'm going to get this... Yeah, I'm going to get Dunfort or Fever. Uh, yeah. Apparently it's called Fever. So I want to have the castle of Fever and Moat Kaelin just so I have connected lands. And I guess doing so, I will also want to get Flint's Finger. Uh, simply because uh, I don't really want to have any borders over here. I just want to have that straight up border, Dunford and Moat Kaelin. Uh, Kaelin, not Kaelin. And then the Flint's Finger have the neck controlled and then my southern, uh, southernmost holding should probably be the Twins or Freylands or something like that. I think that would be a great um, thing to do. Would give me three duchies to rule over and uh, would make me quite a powerful man. Um, we're gonna spread the Granite culture as far as possible and also we're gonna spread the Old God religion into the crossing if possible. Um, but other than that, we will only we will try to stay independent or become independent if possible and the only king I would ever bend my knee to should be a Stark. I want to be ruled by a Stark of Winterfell and not by some Bolton who doesn't know what's going on. That ugly lunatic. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess uh, let's check what we can appoint here. Um, so we got a Castellan of 9. Well, that's not very good. Do we have a better one than that? Apparently not. So this is our best guy. Okay. Um, and Mera Reed. Oh, okay. So now there's a couple things that are quite interesting about the Reeds. Now, first of all, this, our coat of arms, um, depicts a lizard lion. And uh, I don't think, I don't know about the words. The words of the reeds are not, I don't think they have been revealed yet. And um, now, Howland Reed was a one of the five companions that joined Ned Stark when he went to, I don't know, where's the Tower of Joy? Is that it? Okay, well, this is Summerhall. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know where the Tower of Joy is. 
Okay, I thought it was somewhere down here. Uh, actually, let me find this. Um, Tower of Joy. There you go. It's Castle of Tower of Joy. Well, I was close. Uh, anyway, so this was the Tower of Joy. And when um, Ned Stark went there to try to free his sister Lyanna Stark, he had some companions and they fought the Kingsguard. And uh, the only two people who survived this were Ned Stark and Howland Reed. Now, with Ned Stark being dead, Howland Reed is the only person that knows about the promise. Uh, because Ned Stark took it to his grave, so I am the only person to know about what's going on. Um, I was a friend of Ned Stark. Actually, does no, friends do not show up, but uh, maybe it's just because Ned Stark died. Who knows? Now, my kids, Mera and Jojen Reed, um, they are actually... She's not at court. Okay, so she's she's not at court, um, but he should be. That is very weak. Uh, well, he's weak, but that's very weird because um, Jojen Reed and Mera Reed both joined... Or they, they went to Winterfell and they joined um, Bran and Rickon Stark in their escape to the north in order to find the three the three eight three eyed crow crow oh my god I'm sorry the three eyed crow that is very tough to say it's not but uh, for me for some reason it is anyway so actually my kids are both on a quest so Mara Reed is shown as a quest I think the only reason Jojen Reed is not on a quest would be because I wouldn't have an, a valid heir so that might be the reason anyway so I am a dutiful commander a formidable fighter, which makes sense because I slew some of the king's uh, of the king's guard. I'm mystic, okay, proud, brave, honorable, and wroth, okay. I got some uh, really good combat modifiers here. And my wife, Lord Gianna of the Neck, she's a Cranach man or a Cranach woman, and she is lowborn apparently. Um, she's also mystic, also honorable. Brave, rude, and proud. But she's a charismatic negotiator. It's weird that she's a charismatic negotiator but rude at the same time. Doesn't really appear to me that how that works out, but it does somehow. Our father died a natural death. Now that's nice. That's the nicest of death. Anyway, so let's get started. Uh, choose a focus, and I think. As ruler of the swamps, I don't want to do theology or scholarship. Neither is business or s rulership. I don't want to do intrigue and seduction. Uh, so maybe I do war, hunting, carousing. All right, carousing. I want to do carousing. Probably want to do family. Now, family is, in my opinion, the best focus you can choose because um, it gives you health, like hunting. It also gives you. Fertility, so that's very useful. Um, might use no. I think I'm gonna use family. Now let's uh, let's go with family. And um, an ambition. Obtain a dragon egg. Obtain a Valyrian sword. See our house in the Iron Throne. So I don't want to do any of those. I have five children. Fall in love. I think I want to fall in love. <laughs> I feel like that's something I want to do. Um, well. None of these really appeal to me, but I guess, I guess fall in love, I mean, right? Hmm. I guess fall in love is the best one. We'll try to fall in love. I'm not sure if that is, if it's true if Howland Reed wants to fall in love, but who, who wouldn't want to fall in love? Anyways, so, we're in the neck. Our heir is currently unmarried. I would love to get Jojen... Read to marry Sansa Stark. That would actually be quite. Oh, and Lady Livia of Fang Tower. She is huge and strong. That will give me an alliance. Wait, is she a Lannister? No, hold on. Fang Tower. Isn't that the Clegane's holding? Where's the Fang Towers? Ah. Uh, uh, find the title, please. Fang Tower. Oh, that's there. Okay. 
Oh yeah, she's a Clegane. Well, that's definitely not going to happen. I'm not gonna marry a Clegane. Um, they, the Lannisters killed my good friend Ned Stark. So, I kinda hate the Lannisters. And I also hate the, cro uh, the, the phrase um, for several reasons. But uh, also because they killed Rob Stark. Which they shouldn't have done. Um, okay, so... I'm not gonna marry him for now. Um, actually, Servan. I kinda would want to marry him to Sansa Stark. Actually, I have. I. That would be so great if I could do this. Your regent is Petir Littlefinger. And his daughter, apparently. A Northman and legitimized. Oh no, just a bastard. Okay, how about I arrange a patrol to throw. Uh, okay, so this is not possible. Okay. Alright, so uh, I think we'll just uh, hop in here. And um, I want to set up my council first, so oversee this province, Greywater Watch. Uh, Mera Reed, you can fabricate a claim on the twins, please. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Master at Arms, train the troops over here in the Greywater Watch. Treasurer, sure, collect taxes. Spy Master, Lord Calavius, um, scheme. I think that's. Sabotage. No, I think that's the best. And we have a master. Mm -hmm. And Barbara Dia, you should probably just perform charity. There you go. So we've uh, appointed all of our court. So let's roll. Let's see what happens. Hello? Oh, okay. Little delay there. Okay. So let's roll the game. Let's l let the game roll a bit. Mega war maintenance event. Great. Love that. And so the crossing is apparently at war, utterly defeated. What? Wow. He got utterly defeated. Well, that's terrible for you, though. Attacked by Lord Titus of the Black... Attacking Lord Titus of Blackwood, okay. And Edmure of the Riverlands. And defending against, against Stannis. Now, once I have my claim on the twins, I will go to war with these guys. Unfortunately, in this game, CK2, it is... Uh, Actually, let's go a little slower. Um, it is um, it is possible for armies to walk uh, through Moat Kaelin without having to without having to siege it, and the same goes for the Bloody Gate over here in the Airy. And I, I kind of don't like it, but I understand why it is necessary. Um, it just kind of uh, it, it kind of destroys or it, makes the Moat Kaelin very weak because uh, if you can walk through it, it's not as significant. Um, but anyways, I will still try to get a hold of Moat Kaelin in, in the turmoils of this. Okay, so li lately I have been trying to help advance my family wherever possible. I have gained a family person trade. Okay. Very nice. That uh, is just opinion. Okay. I've been spending more time with my wife, Jana, lately, and though of course we did not marry for love, I can tell it is growing between us. Ah, marital bliss. Now I fall in love. Great! That was my uh, ambition. That was actually quite easy. And uh, let's pause for a moment and pick a new ambition, shall we? Um, I guess the next one that makes sense is to have five children, right? Or I could obtain a Valyrian sword. That would actually be quite a cool thing, right? No, but I think having five children first would be best. Let's uh, make some babies here. Okay, now what are our forces at the moment? We can raise 1,825 men ourselves and 1,300 men. Okay. Word has arrived from Castle Black. The Lord Commander writes that cold winds are rising, the dead are walking, and the trees have eyes once again and white shadows stalk the woods. He calls for all lords to put aside to ride with the Night's Watch and reclaim the dawn. Ready the men, we ride north at dawn. Now, Jon Snow, you are a cool person, and I like you. Um, he wields Longclaw. Now, he is fighting. Is he? Did he already declare the war? Yeah, so Jon Snow, Jon Snow declared war 
on the winter on White Walker the old oh no White Walker of the winter he's 400 years old and um, he declared the war of dawn or was it called yeah war for the dawn and uh, now he calls in everyone to join him and uh, I'm not sure if I want to join because I kind of have other things to do and I'm kind of far away um, but I guess I will think about it and show you next episode so thank you well Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's Chief Tronka, signing off.